I'm here with Nile Rogers, a music legend, an incredible human being, and also runs an incredible charity organization. We're talking today about this NFT that we did with Nas and how your charity, We Are Family Foundation, uh, has a connection to South Africa, which is where we actually did this incredible concert with Nas. It was not only the 20th anniversary of Illmatic coming out, but the 20th anniversary of apartheid ending. Your story with South Africa goes way back even before that. Do you tell, I, I, you were telling me before about the story about the connection to Mandela, which is incredible. In about 1991, uh, Nelson Mandela Modibo was, you know, came to New York City and he came to Robert De Niro's restaurant and he walks in the door and we're all standing there like in a receiving line as if it were the queen or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so possibly awesome. more important than the queen. No, you know, to, to us, <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, former Black Panther. Yeah. No, this was like, you know, Incredible. this was very um, emotional and powerful. And he walks in, and it's just so sweet. He sees Eddie Murphy, and he goes, Eddie. <laughs> and it's like all of a sudden, the artist in the room meant so much to him, and. I was blown away. I was just completely blown away. And so when he gets around to me, the person who's telling him, you know, he's, I guess the person's got notes about, you know, who's mm -hmm. ever at the table. The guy says, you know, he's the guy who wrote Africa. And they were, he's like, Africa, he wrote Africa? What they were thinking of is we have a song in Chic called Le Freak. Mm -hmm. And people who speak French, and you know Africans, they think we're going Africa. Oh my gosh! Check it out, L'Afrique, c'est chic. I'll never be able to and unhear they go, that. Africa, Africa. <laughs> L'Afrique, c'est chic. So many, many times, and she's seen it many times. You know, I'll, you know, I get, get to an airport or something like that, and people walk up, yo, he wrote Africa, he wrote Africa. So that was pretty cool. I was like, okay, I wrote Africa, you know, but I, you can't explain to Madiba, no. I'm not really, yeah. it's not really Africa. Mm -hmm. It's about a dance called mm -hmm. Lafrique. So um, then the person tells him, but he also wrote, we are family. And that's when I get the shock of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine Nelson Mandela telling you that one of the most powerful things that ever happened to him was hearing the white prison guards singing a song with black girls talking about they were going to be a family together. They were going, we are family. And he could tell the voices on the radio were black. They didn't play black artists on the white stations in South Africa during apartheid. So he said that it gave him hope that uh, South Africa would not be under apartheid forever. Or I love that. I mean, this is one thing that, that I saw that was so powerful when I was at that Nas event in South Africa, before we went on, wow, hip hop is the language of the world. Right. We are so far away from a club where this would be coming in. And I truly think that, you know, political action changes the world, but also art changes the world. Tell me the story about the screening of uh, Coming to America and how they handle the distribution in South Africa. Harry Belafonte told me that artists are the gatekeepers of truth. And the truth was that when Coming to America premiered in South Africa, Paramount Pictures um, just insisted, it was a mandate, that if you want to see this film, which we think you're going to love, if you want to see this film, you have to integrate the theater that it premieres in. Let me Years before so. apartheid is over. Oh yeah. Oh no. We're in. We're in the thick of apartheid. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and and Maldiva said that that was so powerful it resonated across the entire African continent. He That's... said every country knew about this, and I'm sitting there going, "This is crazy." I'm like, I'm accustomed to people talking about. Huey Newton, Che Guevara, blah, 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 and the struggle, struggle in the blood and the brothers and Fred Hampton. And, and, and he's talking about movies and, and songs. And he's talking about what I did. And I'm like blown away. And I, I wrote Africa. Yeah, well, yeah, I wrote Africa. <laughs> What's your relationship with Nas? Because as soon as we mentioned that 
hey, we're looking for a charitable component for this NFT with Illmatic. Immediately, they're just like, oh, we know what to do. We want to do the We Are Family Foundation. I was like, <laughs> well, that was quick. And See, Nas and I have this sort of real spiritual New Yorker kind of connection. But when Nas and I first started talking, the depth of his knowledge and, and his appreciation for um, under, his understanding of how music morphed into hip hop. How you know you could see the direct path. Mm -hmm. Well, like you said, all the the sources are out there with the Internet of Things for everyone to learn their history because all the information is just out there, and you never know where those you know sort of pieces get put together. Uh, we we could go on all day. I love this. <laughs> Thank you so much for making time. You got it, bro. Mike check is like a death treat the